are taking advantage of the great weather. We're hoisting the sails and sailing about 50 nautical miles to the Crooked Islands. What we'll find there is unlike anything we've seen before. We're seeing so many signs of what looks like this abandoned town, um, just homes that look like skeletons of what was. So I'd be really surprised if we see uh, more than one person here or anyone here, but who knows? Welcome to Long Key, a place you want to be. The irony. <laughs> Looks like maybe a place you used to want to be. How crazy is this? Yeah, pretty wild, huh? It's a really nice little pavilion. Yeah. Look how beautiful it is out here. I imagine there used to be some Beautiful lunches had here. Not beautiful lunches. Delicious lunches with a beautiful view, maybe I should say. Yeah, for sure. You can't see them, but there are some goats here in the distance. We just saw running across this little road here. generator here looks like it's in pretty good shape uh, and then I can hear what it sounds like another generator running in the distance over there and then this looks like it was a what oh there Yeah, this must be the water treatment plant because I think they're chlorinating water here. So someone definitely lives on the island. I don't know. I don't know what's in this bucket, but that bucket is actually drywall compound. So they've used the bucket to obviously put something else in it. I'm assuming chlorine because it looks like it's got a little pump with a timer. And it looks like it is going all the way down into the water line here, which may be filling these water tanks and therefore providing pressure to whoever's here on the island. So you can see how the main frame of the home was actually built up off on these beams. So the house had a crawl space underneath it, kind of like what you would see up north in the US, and then all of this is just plaster. Um, and just old, old, no telling how old this house is. Thank you to Waves RX for sponsoring this video. They make lines, soaps, and lots of other great products for your boat. You should check them out at their website or on Amazon. Best part is our viewers get 20% off when using the discount code ADVENTUREWRX. The links are in the description below. Termite damage all through here. So like, yeah, the storm certainly could have caused a major part of the destruction here. But even then, I feel like the house was kind of already. On its last leg. Yeah. You see the but it's a nice size house, actually. I mean, it's, did I see what? Did you see the water filters? There's, no. There's water filters, see? So these right here, guys. Oh, yeah. Like, they're bigger than ours, but this is uh, very similar to what goes in our water maker. Actually, this is a membrane there, yeah. Yeah. So they're definitely using reverse osmosis. As we walk through what feels like a ghost town, we can't help but wonder what life used to look like for people on this island. This sign's a little ironic, huh? Keep it pristine. There's a can of Colt 45 
in here. Well, that must have been the bathroom, this was the bathroom, yeah. yeah. So you had the tub out. there, shower head up top. Um, but I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but the, the oh, Colt 45 yeah. cans down there. So what we're walking up to now looks to be an old church. If there's any civilization, we feel like it's in the home behind us because of all the dogs. Um, so obviously somebody lives here. No answer though when we hollered out. I'm really curious to meet whoever lives on this island. It's a, such an interesting place to live in, live among ruins. This is what's left of St. David and St. Augustine's Anglican Church. The historic church dates back to the 1700s. It's said to have been one of the first Anglican churches in the Bahamas. So this spot that I'm in now has definitely been built on to what was the church beside us here that we just showed you that's in ruins and doesn't look like it's been used for quite some time because there's a lot of dust on these pews and a lot of rat poop. Just behind the ruins of this old church is a graveyard and I'm super eager to see if we can see, they may be too old, See what these dates are on here. All right. See, do you see any dates? Yeah, 1882. 1882, wow. Can you imagine what all of this used to look like in its heyday? That's a really beautifully constructed church. Despite the ruins here at this graveyard, there's all these little birds just chirping around, even playful. They let me get pretty close to them. Hopefully I just got them in the shot. I have a wide angle on, so I was close to them, but still not sure if I captured them on camera. Those little birds are so cute. Yeah. Chirpy. We just found what used to be the school here, and there's just books everywhere on the floor. STP Caribbean Mathematics 4. Hmm. I don't know what the difference between Caribbean Mathematics and regular math <laughs> mathematics is, but... I know I didn't like either. <laughs> Wouldn't like either. Shoo, it smells like... Yeah, it's been goat like, poop. <laughs> yeah, the goats have been in here like crazy. Yeah. I found I found what was left of a composition book written by Ken Kinson Wilson, Thursday, December eleventh, two thousand and something. That date's ripped off. Letter writing, uh, this next one, January 19th. How I spent my Christmas holidays. My Christmas holiday was exciting. I spent Christmas with my aunt, maybe, in Crook Island. <laughs> he left the ED off of Crooked. I met new friends at the beach. I played with them. Something play football and, does that say hunting? <laughs> I ate fruit cake and bread with jam. <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. Oh, here we go. My name is Kinson Williams and I am nine years old. I live in Long Key with my parents. I attend Long Key all age school. I am in grade four and my teacher's name is Mrs. 
Can't see what that says. I have one sister and two brothers. My parents' name is Mrs. and my parents' name are Mrs. and Mr. Williams. I like to cook and I make the bed. When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. I play with my friends on the weekend and I work hard every day on my lessons. I play games with my friends, Mrs. Y, and something, something, something. How cool would it be? Well, there's a date on that. I can't see the, right the year. Oh, okay, so 2015. That was so graded that by was the teacher. 2015, oh, there is a grade, yeah. But 2015, so it's 2023 now. That's yeah. what, eight years ago? So this person, nine plus eight. 16? Is that right? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? 9 plus 8, maybe 17? 17, I was close. See, I told you all, mathematics is not my, uh, my best. I still count on my fingers sometimes. How cool would that be if you saw our YouTube video? What wow. was his name? Kenson Williams. So, Kenson Williams, we hope that you are... Watching. Watching, but well on your way to becoming that pilot. Yeah, how cool is that? Knock, knock! Puppy. Where's the, oh, look at the little puppies! This is Delvano. He's one of only seven people who live here now. He tells us his island was destroyed in 2015 by Hurricane Joaquin, a Category 4 hurricane. The Category 4 storm is battering the Bahamas with 130 mile an hour winds and heavy, heavy rain. Joaquin is the strongest October hurricane known to have affected the Bahamas since the 1800s, destroying almost everything in its path here on Long Key. Seeing all the devastation here brings back really strong memories for us. If you've been following along for a while, you'll know how fortunate we were to escape Hurricane Ian untouched after just buying our dream boat. It's crazy, and it messed up all the salt ponds out there, huh? But I saw ponds coming back. Yeah, there's salt in there. I mean, yeah, I saw because, the salt. Because of the rain, right? Yeah. Now, but that was that whole thing uh, a couple of weeks back. We saw it. We know all about this. I know exactly what all this is. Except for all of that trash over there, unfortunately. This is the salt flats. to conceive the power of Mother Nature. Almost 10 years later and this town is still in ruins. Lack of industries, resources, and money make it hard, if not impossible, for many Bahamians to rebuild. For the people who lived here, it was much easier to just pack up, move away, and never look back. I hope we can come back one day when it's rebuilt and meet the other people who live here. <laughs>